Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am unboxing my first Ipsy Glam Bag X for February 2021. The first ever Glam Bag X. So if you want to see what I got, stick around. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Eileen and I am so very glad you decided to come hang out with me for a while today. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Now, for anyone who's not familiar, Ipsy Glam Bag is a monthly subscription. You receive a bag with a mix of beauty products. The base Glam Bag is $12 a month. You receive five deluxe size samples in a makeup bag. You do have an option to customize one of those items. And they say you'll have a value of $50 or more. They also have a Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month and has five full size items with a value of $120 or more. And then there's the Glam Bag X. This is a quarterly upgrade that replaces either your Glam Bag or your Glam Bag Plus and it is $55 and they say that you will get seven to eight full-size products with a value up to $355. The Glam Bag X are curated by celebrity uh, celebrities. I don't think they're all going to be makeup artists, but they do say it will be curated by celebrities. This one is curated by Patrick Ta. So, um, this literally, I was filming other things and this arrived today, so I have not, I haven't cut the seal, I haven't opened it at all, we're going to do this all live, I mean, I obviously will be edited, but you will see my initial reaction to the products, um, they do show you on the Ipsy website what you are getting, but in, in terms of the products and the colors and the sizes and whatever else, you will be seeing it live, so let's open the seal and this is how it comes a little foam there and then here's everything that's inside so let's take a look okay so inside we do have this little newsletter um, about the glam bag x and just say curated by patrick ta and i like to take a look it's talking about the different products and whatnot so we'll take a look at that or I'll take a look at that later because right now I want to actually get in to the products themselves. Okay, so let's take a look at the products, see what we got, what it's worth, and whether we think it's something that we might want to continue or if this was a one-time upgrade. So let's see what we got. Uh, the first item here is from Patrick Ta. This is the Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. And this is in the shade She's Adorable. So let's open that up and take a look. This, I believe, is the single, just the powder blush, because he does have those blush duos that were big. But this is one's from before. And that's a very pretty peach. This is Get Flush, Fresh, Lift From Within Skin with this Golden Peach Blush. The non-streaky pigments are infused with light reflecting mica for a luminous glow and coated in plant-based moisturizers to give them a buttery, cream-like feel. Um, I'm going to see if you can see. There is a bit of a shimmer to it. I don't usually use peach blushes because I, I just got this fear of looking like a pumpkin, like a little too much orange. Um, but it is really pretty. Um, and I have a couple of his blush duos that I really like, so i um, interested to try this one out. Um, I've actually been thinking I should probably get, I should have a peach or like a peach kind of a blush just for when that's the right shade for the eye look that I'm doing. So uh, retail value on these is $32. I have eyed them before at Sephora and I've never pulled the trigger, so I'm not even a little bit unhappy about this one. I'm actually gonna save the big one for last because, um, you know, I like me a palette. So, next from, I like this big one, oh, Pat McGrath. I love Pat McGrath Labs. This is Fetishize Mascara. This is $30 value. This is, um, Pat McGrath has a couple of different mascaras. Um, 
remember what the other one is called, but this is a flexible, buildable mascara. It delivers a range of long-lasting lash looks from soft and fluttery to bold and thick, making it the ultimate pro artist secret for customizable lashes with zero clumps or flakes. Um, the fact that we're getting Pat McGrath in a subscription box makes me really excited. Um, to me, that's pretty amazing. And um, uh, this is not a mascara. Um, I may... I may have tried a sample of this. I don't own a full size of it. Again, this is $30. So just between these first two products, we've already gotten our money back for what we paid for the, the bag, and I'm not unhappy with either product. So, so far, so good. What do you think? Okay, our next product is from Complex Culture. Um, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that I like their blush, their brushes. Um, this is a Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. Uh, this is a Sonic-powered T-Bar tool to give you daily luxury of an at-home facial massage to temporarily relieve tension and smooth skin. It helps reduce puffiness, relax facial muscles, and tone and sculpt your features. I say that this has a value of $58.00. A Sonic T-Bar. Well, okay, it's pink, so I'm not happy with that. Um, I don't know what... The fact that it's Sonic is, I mean... Um, requires one AA battery not included. Okay, so it must do, like, some kind of a vibrating thing. Do I have any batteries floating around here? I do! Okay, battery is in. Apparently you turn this, you turn this, what do we do? How do we make it work? Ah, there we go. And it, I don't know if it's doing anything, but it's fun. Um, I guess it's sort of like, have you ever been to physical therapy and you get the, the stem where they put the electrical pulses through? Um, would I pay $58 for it? I don't think so. Um, but I'm not unhappy to have it. I'm going to have to read more about it before I <laughs> go too close to my eyes and things. But, um, definitely not a product I would have bought myself. But, um, okay. <laughs> not unhappy with it. It's fun. Um, as long as we're not getting too many kind of um, unexpected or kind of out there products, uh, I'm not unhappy. Um, again, I, I do love the brushes from this brand. Um, so, um, I don't know. What do you think? Would you want to try a vibrating facial massager? And would you pay $58 for one? And this is more than the cost of the box, but not necessarily money I would have spent, so let me know what you think. Okay, our next product is from About Face, and this is Painted Matte Lip Color. This is not a brand I've heard of. If you have, let me know. The color I have it does Last Good Night. So let's take a look at that. Well, that's really pretty. I like the packaging. Um, what do you think? This is, this is obviously this is a liquid lipstick, ultra pigmented, long lasting, and lightweight. This minty matte formula is the stuff liquid lipstick dreams are made of, and the soft mauve shade, total perfection. Minty. I'm not so sure about that, but we're gonna try this one on. Hang on a second, let me, uh, let me take off what I have on. I've just got a, a nude gloss on at the moment. Okay, let's see. I was hoping for something a little pinker today than what I originally put on, so. Let's see. I love the feel of this. It's got kind of a satiny feel, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it, but I like it. There's the shade. You can see. Um, there's the shade. And again, it's called Last Good Night. Okay, 
it's definitely um it's not that minty like you get with one of those plumping lip glosses but there is something minty going on it's not a feeling it's almost like I can smell it but not really I don't know how to explain it but what do you think I kind of like it I think it's a great shade it's a really good shade for me um, personally, I think so. Um, yeah, not unhappy, even though, again, not a brand I've heard of, uh, retail on it, $22. If you've tried other things from this brand, let me know down below. Okay, next from Private Doctor by ID Hospital, says Define Minus Serum, formulated to minimize lines and create definition. Well, they definitely, like, I feel like they just, like, picked all the pink and rose gold kind of products. Um, this is a facial serum. It says this is no average face serum. It's inspired by professional derm treatments. It uses micro tingling spicules to deliver a cocktail of smoothing, firming, and plumping ingredients to the deepest layers of skin. This is developed by Korea's top dermatologist, Dr. Song Hook Park. Private doctor helps turn back the clock using advanced technology and potent actives. It is cruelty free. Uh, value on this is $49. Um, not a brand I've heard of. And um, so obviously I haven't heard of the product because I haven't heard of the brand. But if you have, if you've used this, let me know what you think. Um, or if you got it in your box. And uh, this one I'm going to have to think about. I'm, I'm uh, in the middle of, I, I'm just starting a brand new skincare regime. Um, I bought a whole bunch of regime, regimen. <laughs> it's, it's not... It wasn't a, a, a it wasn't a skincare coup. Um, I have a new skincare regimen, um, so this would get kind of on the back burner um, to try it at a later time. But let me know if you tried it and what you think of it. Uh, again, retail on this is forty nine dollars. Next from Tula Skincare, this is Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This was actually a product that was in. That's it. Fun boxes, I believe. Not this pat, not this quarter, but the previous quarter. Um, or yeah, I think that's where it was. Um, I know I've gotten it before. Um, unless it was, yeah, I think it was Fat Fit Fun. It's definitely a subscription box that you've seen on this. That you've seen me unbox. So, um, I haven't used it. It is in my backups. Um, but let me know what you think of it if you've used it. This again is Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This is Talk About a Multitasker. This 4-in-1 eye balm instantly cools, brightens, hydrates, and minimizes the look of fine lines and wrinkles thanks to probiotics, caffeine, and plant-based oils. This has a retail of $30. Okay, next from Misha Beauty. Or is it Misho? It's Misho Beauty. You never can tell when I look at that logo. This is a nail lacquer duo. Uh, it's two colors in manicured and angel. This is a rusty rose and soft muted rose lacquers. Coating nails in ultra shiny chip resistant color that looks gorgeous on all skin tones. Let's check them out. Yeah, I definitely feel like there were, there's a theme in this. Although the only thing that doesn't seem to have been sort of rose gold, um, pinky rose gold, is the Foundry Tom product. So that one was more, you know, peach. But um, these are the two colors. This one is manicured. And this is Angel. Angel is very much up my alley, as you can actually tell from the nails of what I have on right now. Um, this one is, like, the shade name is Mia, and it's uh, Zoya, I think is the, the brand. Um, but yeah, this one's very much up my alley. Um, this one, I don't know, maybe. Um, value on these, these are both full size, um, so the duos get a value of $37. Um, I haven't tried Misha Beauty's polishes. Um, I think I've gotten them in boxes before, but I haven't actually tried them yet. So let me know what you think. Um, you know, obviously I do like to polish my nails and that one is right up my alley. So let me know what you think. Okay, and our last product, or what 
should be our last product, we'll get to that in a second, is from Huda Beauty, and this is the Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette. This is not a palette I have, so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, let's open her up and take a look. Let's see. Oh, look at that packaging. So pretty. And instead of a regular piece of plastic, that is the insert. And looks like these have, I don't think they're swatched. I think they just kind of settled in these because there are some dips. And actually I can see it in the, the photo on the website as well. There's some dips. But So here are the shades. There is a nice mirror there. They say, better than a bouquet of roses on Valentine's Day, this rose-inspired eyeshadow palette, 18 trendy shades and four different finishes. It can be used to create pro-level looks that are soft and romantic or bold and glam. And now some of these are deeper than I would normally use, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. I have eyed it up and I never pulled the trigger on it. The value on this is, uh, the retail is $65. Um, you do say you can use this with your fingers or an eyeshadow brush. Um, there were just some really gorgeous shades in here. Um, I just want to swatch a couple just for fun. So let's let's just pick a few. I'm going to go with Pink Diamond. And let's see what else. Dubai. Um, how about Risqué? Okay, that's Pink Diamond. Dubai and Risqué. And then I'm going I'm to throw a little, um, let's try, this is bubbly. Let's see if that's going to work right in the middle of my eyes. Mm. I, know. I don't know if you're seeing that, but I mean, I already had some fairly dark shadow. Or not dark, but pigmented. 24K. Did we do anything with 24K? Anyway, really pretty shades. They, they feel like butter. Um, so yeah, again, this is one I looked at and it's like, ah, it's $65 and, you know, there are other things that I'm buying and, you know, it's one I kind of always looked at and never picked up. So not unhappy about this one, even a little bit. Um, if you've tried this one, let me know what you think. Um, this might be a fun one to play with, or maybe get a couple of people that also got it and do a collab and everybody do different looks. That might be fun. Let me know what you think. Um, that should have been everything. Um, as, you know, as far as what was in, but for some reason, and I don't know if it's just because I signed up early or if it was because they sent my, <laughs> I changed my address and they sent my box to the wrong address. Um, because, as you may know, I had intended to be moved by now, and um, our moving equipment fell through, so we are actually um, here in New Jersey for another month. So uh, I changed my address, and they got it right on my my regular glam bag, but not on my ex. So this is actually a reshipment, because the, the first one couldn't be delivered. Um, because it was sent to a post office box that I don't actually have yet. Um, because I had to actually be there before they would receive packages. Anyway, it's a whole thing. But, so I'm not sure if this was a gift for signing up. Or if this was a, I'm sorry we messed up. But, um, also in my box, from 111 Skin, this is the Y Theorem Day Cream. And, uh, this, uh, this is a full size. This is 50 milliliters. Um, this is a vitamin, antioxidant, and hyaluronic infused formula. Plumps and revitalizes complexion while keeping the skin feeling hydrated and nourished. Um, we've seen 111 Skin come up in BoxyCharm boxes and stuff before, but or we've seen the we've seen the little the tr the the uh, sample deluxe sample sizes in in Boxy, but never the full size. This 50 milliliter is a value of $270. Just this, this little guy. <laughs> so, um, 
I'm not sure why I got it, but I'm sure glad I did. Um, so yeah, a $270 day cream. Would I pay $270 for a day cream? I think it would have to be really good. I'm not going to say I won't because um, I'm taking skincare a whole lot more seriously than I used to and um, starting to be more um, open to if it, if it really is that good, then that's where I should be investing um, or looking at skincare as an investment. But um, $270 and it's not even listed on... You know, on where it, it you know it says the products that are coming in my box, it was just in the one that arrived today. So I'm not unhappy. Um, again, the Glam Bag X uh, is going to come once every three months. It's fifty five dollars. Um, it's a, a replacement upgrade from your either your uh, Ipsy Glam Bag or your Glam Bag Plus, and they say you will have a value of up to three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I'm pretty happy with uh, with what I got this uh, in this box uh, enough and I'm certainly going to continue with it and see how we do going forward see if they didn't just like you know really blow us out of the park with the first one and then let us down next time but um, the items that were supposed to be in the box now counting this little extra that was tucked in there um, $323 so I am not even a little bit unhappy about that um you know like i said th up to 350 i get 323 and there's not a single product in there that i was like if you know it, lord knows that happens but um you know there are a few that i'm like well i wouldn't have bought it but okay um so um certainly not unhappy uh, you add this in and this box of stuff is a value of 593 dollars it's insane. Um, so again, I'm not sure whether this was a we're sorry we screwed up and had to replace your box or because I signed it like soon as this came out um, I was one of the like I signed up way back in whenever it was. Okay, I just went and double checked going way back to November which is when I first uh, did it sign up for the Glam Bag X when they first came out with the um, the notice that the Glam Bag Ultimate would be no longer and they were going to be replacing it with Glam Bag X and um, they sent out a thing letting us know about it and saying that if you signed up um, before it went to public, if you were a loyal lipster and signed up um, within those first seven days, you would get this uh, in the first shipment, making the first Glam Bag X worth up to $698. Mine actually, as I said, came in at $593. Um, so, uh, I'm not even a little bit unhappy, um, with this, uh, this was a great one. I'm glad I interrupted one of other things I was filming to film this because, you know, when was the last time you saw me this happy with a subscription box? I'm really kind of feeling like this is out of character for the way I've felt about my subscription boxes lately. Um, you know, I mean, I, um, I canceled Boxy Lux because I've been so kind of disappointed and, and disillusioned with them and considering also I haven't decided if I'm canceling premium so um but yeah this box makes me um gives me hope <laughs> that all is not lost at least on the MC front so let me know your thoughts did you get the Glam Bag X or are you considering doing it going forward uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on what I got and what you got if you got different products because um there were some choice items in there, and then there were some that were signed that were just given to us, so I don't know if everybody got some of the same items. So leave any comments down in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And remember, life is uncertain at Extra Sparkle. And thank you for spending your time hanging out with me today. Please stay safe, be kind to yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.